One of the cool features of the IFD 540 is geofill. When you go in and geofill, what we can do is, uh, we're currently located in San Antonio. As you look, you can see here are some waypoints that are nearby. Um, and I'm going to show in a second, um, as we go through this nearest section, uh, you can see, as I get to nearest VORs, uh, you can see San Antonio VOR, and then you have uh, Romeo November Delta, and SSF uh, for waypoints from the VOR. If I go to my flight planning page from San Antonio, as I get to the flight planning page and I press in, uh, when I press waypoints, Geofill is going to take into account. The first place that it recommends is San Antonio. If you look and I press the R on this, the closest waypoint it's going to find. So what Geofill does is finds so the closest waypoint to where you are in your flight plan and recommends that. So rarely do you have to enter in all of the letters. Say it was an NDB you were headed to to get there. If I go in and just touch H, I can find the nearest NDB and load that into my flight plan. Because it uses the alphabet to find it, it makes it much quicker and lists possible waypoints that you want to find. And then have her touch. Touch. One of the cool features of the IFD 540 is hybrid touch. What that means is things that you can do on the touch screen, you can also do with bezel buttons. So here you can see, uh, as I zoom in, I can use the screen for that. I can also use the knob for it. I can also use with radio frequencies, I can go, I can dial in the frequency using the knob, or I can type it in using the touch screen on it, which allows you to quickly and easily enter flight plan and make changes to that. Just about anything you can do from the bezel buttons, you can also do from um, the touch screen as well. So I can move data back and forth by using either touch screen or bezel buttons. Uh, this allows the pilot to determine whether they're on the ground or in smooth air or in turbulent air, what process works best for them.